Hi, Dr. Karen Can here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I do self muscle testing. Now, muscle testing is also called applied kinesiology, and there are many different training programs for this. But what I'm going to show you is something that works for me and for some of my patients. Keep in mind that not everyone is going to be able to have the skill set to do this, but I'm going to show you what I do and then you can practice at home and see if it works for you. So basically what we can do is we can use the body as um, you know an intuitive um, um, sign or an, uh, a tool, intuitive tool to see whether something that comes into our field of energy is good for us for our highest and greatest good or is not good for us, so not for our highest and greatest good. So in the office when I'm testing a patient, I will often use their deltoid muscle as the test muscle um, to see whether or not a particular supplement or um, patches are for their highest and greatest good. And so what we would do in the office is I would have their arm extended out forwards and I would actually stand to the side of them and push on the arm and they would resist and uh, if uh, you know if they remain locked if their deltoid muscle remains locked or strong that means a yes and if their deltoid muscle unlocks or weakens that would mean a no and that's very simplistic terms <laughs> to describe what I do in the office so what we want to do is practice how to muscle test on yourself. Now, like I said, not everyone is going to be able to do this. It does require um, a little bit of um, uh, body sense and practice. So this technique I learned from a friend of mine. And the nice thing about this technique is you can use it with just one hand. So using your dominant or non-dominant hand, it doesn't really matter. What you're going to do is you're going to make this shape. Sort of like the AOK, -okay, but with your fourth finger. Your fourth finger is a little bit less strong than your index finger, and that's why we're using it. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually push your fourth finger against your thumb in this particular exercise. And what you're teaching the body to do is give you an answer yes or no. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pushing this fourth finger against my thumb and I'm going to ask the body to tell me what a yes means. Now normally the body will increase its strength when you say that um, in your energy field. So I'm going to say give me a yes. Okay, it holds strong. Now with the same amount of strength that you're going to use, okay, you're going to say to your body, give me a no. Okay, it releases. Now, you might think, well, gee, that's kind of hard. How do you know how, how strong to, to do it? Well, it takes practice. So I'm using the exact amount of strength to do both yes and a no. Okay, and let's go. So uh, I like to practice with my name. So I'll say, my name is Karen. Okay, it's pretty strong. And I'll say, my name is Gertrude. And I'll have the same strength, but it, it, it can't. I can't help it. It just lets go. So I will often test supplements or brain balance this way using the yes and no. So I know strong means it's strong or good. And then if I let go, then that's a weak response. So for example, in another video, um, I talked about checking for brain balance. And it's hard to check yourself for brain balance uh, without some sort of self muscle testing tool. So how I do it is that I do the same brain, brain balance testing with my other hand, okay, and at the same time use this. So what you want to do to first practice is make sure that you get a yes and a no that's consistent. Okay, you can use your name or you can use yes and no. So I'll say yes. Okay, that's strong. I'll say no. Whoa, that's totally weak. Okay, so I'll say my name is Karen. Again, that's strong. I'll say my name is Jimmy, and that's weak. Okay, so again, this does take some practice. Not everyone can do it. You have to have a good enough body sense to be able to do this and have some practice. So now I'm going to check my brain balance. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have a baseline, which I just did. Now then I'm going to localize one hand, the other hand, 
okay? So in this case, my right hand over my right side of my brain, okay? And make sure your legs aren't crossed and you're sitting up straight. So then I'm going to do this test, okay? Okay, and then we're going to do this test. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's weak. That's strong. Let's double check. Weak, strong. Okay, so in this case, my right side is weak, so I have a brain imbalance on the right side. Now, it could mean I'm not hydrated. Um, so let's try that. So we're going to hydrate a little bit. Okay. So let's try it again. So, right side. Yeah, still weak. Left side, strong. Okay, so um, so that's number one. Well, let, before we do the correction, let's check for the second part of the brain balance testing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the the hand, okay, um, and you're going to put it right over the belly button. So you're going to stretch it out and put it right over your belly button with the palm over your belly button, okay. And then you're going to do this again, okay. So now I'm testing, and that's strong for me. Okay, so, yep, that's strong. All right, so that tells me that my autonomic nervous system is regulating, but in this case, my right and left sides are not even. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take an eon patch. I have an eon patch on my neck, but obviously not close enough to my head to brain balance me. So I'm going to try different points. I'm going to try this point, okay? I'm going to wait about 10 seconds, something like that, and then retest. Okay, I've already hydrated. Okay, so right side. Ah, now it's strong. Left, strong, and over the belly, strong. Good, all three areas are strong. So this point works for me. Okay, now let's try a different point. Let's try the top of the head. I'm just gonna balance it there. Wait about 10 seconds again. So make sure when you muscle test yourself that you are well hydrated. Otherwise you may get incorrect answers. Okay, right side, that is also strong. Left, strong, over the belly button, which you can't see me do. Strong. Good. So that works as well. Okay, now let's try this other point behind my right ear. So right here. Okay, triple burner 17. Okay, and I'm not going to wait as long this time, but uh, okay, let's try the right side again. Yep, that's strong. Left is strong and over the belly button. Yep, that works too. Okay, last point I'm going to try is over the thymus. Uh, this is not a brain patching point, but sometimes this works for people. Okay, right over the upper chest. So we're going to wait uh, a few seconds to Sometimes if you um, check right away, you'll be weak on the opposite side, and that's basically a rewiring issue. So you have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so 10, 10 to 15 seconds is usually good. Okay, so right side. Okay, that's working today. So I can definitely use the thymus point today for brain balancing. Great. So uh, instead of using the eon patch on the back of my neck, which is where I was using it earlier, now that I know that I'm not brain balanced today, um, then I can use it on any of the brain patching points. So for today, I, I think I'm going to keep it on the thymus, okay? Um, just an arbitrary decision in my case. Um, and so that's how I do brain balance testing on myself. Sometimes I cannot tell whether my brain balance is off, and other times I can. For example, if I start to feel pain, uh, that's often a sign that my brain balance is off. Um, if I start to get kind of tired or headachey um, because there's an earthquake, some other part of the world, I usually feel it, that's just my body. Um, so then I check my brain balance to make sure that I'm still on and if I'm not, I go ahead, reach for an eon and patch one of these brain balancing points right away. Um, when you don't have the brain balance, that means the body's under stress and you will not heal or will not heal quickly. So that's how we do self-muscle testing with uh, brain balancing, and I hope this has helped you. Uh, you can visit me at www.karencan.com, or if you want to learn more about these patches that I use, um, in particular, the, my, one of my favorites, the LifeWave Eon patch, which is the one I'm using for brain balancing, you can go to my website at acupuncturepatches.com. Again, www.acupuncturepatches.com. Have a great day, and happy patching.